Hi, I'm Dave Vaughton, Project Manager for the Vital Signs Initiative at the Metropolitan Transportation Commission. We're here in downtown San Francisco to talk about new data on freeway congestion and reliability. Behind me is the region's iconic Bay Bridge, which continues to be the region's most significant hotspot for traffic congestion. In fact, the Bay Bridge corridor alone accounted for 21% of all traffic congestion across the nine county San Francisco Bay area in 2015. The eastbound commutes starting at the US 101 Interstate 280 interchange and stretching to the Treasure Island Tunnel ranked number one for the most congested delay with typical weekday volumes now starting at lunchtime and stretching until nearly 10 o'clock at night. This segment moved up in the ranks in 2015 as a result of congestion starting an hour earlier and lasting an hour longer than in 2014. Coming in a close second is the westbound commute from Hercules to San Francisco on Interstate 80. 2015 data shows that for the first time on record, the morning and evening peak periods have merged, creating a continuously congested freeway from 5.30 in the morning to nearly eight o'clock at night. The significant increase in congestion along this corridor is reflective of San Francisco's booming job market, which continues to be dependent on East Bay commuters due to housing production lagging rapid creation of new jobs. Across the Bay Area, congested freeway delay grew 22% for the average commuter in 2015. And it's now 50% higher than in the year 2000, the peak of the dot-com boom. In addition to trends in San Francisco, Alameda and Contra Costa counties now account for 60% of all regional traffic congestion. These counties have seen significant growth since 2013. Many of the region's other major traffic hotspots are on freeways within or connecting to Silicon Valley, the heart of the region's technology sector. I'm Stephanie Mack, a data analyst working on MTC's Vital Signs Initiative. While traffic in the Bay Area is getting worse, there remains some good news for travelers. While highways in southern and central parts of the region have slowed down, North Bay highways remain relatively uncongested on weekdays in 2015. While there are notable exceptions, like the US 101 in Marin County, only 5% of all regional traffic congestion is concentrated in the North Bay. Sonoma County has even seen reductions in congested miles traveled since 2004, partially as a result of transportation improvements along the US 101 corridor. Even with congestion growing across the Bay Area, 94% of all freeway miles traveled actually occur at uncongested speeds. Another bright spot in terms of regional traffic, despite the growing number of vehicles on the road, travel time reliability has remained stable, revealing that the region's freeways are still maintaining smooth, albeit slower operation. AM peak and PM peak travel time reliability in 2015 has not changed since 2010. Ultimately, this means that Bay Area drivers can predict their travel times, even as congestion has gotten worse. The bottom line is that many regional freeways are congested, but they're reliably congested. To learn more about the latest trends in your county, your city, or even your daily commute, check out the Vital Signs Performance Monitoring website at vitalsigns.mtc.ca.gov. Just choose a topic of interest, explore the data using interactive maps and charts. Then let us know what you think by tweeting us at MTC Bata using the hashtag Bay Area Vital Signs.